I was thinking at my desk for a couple minutes and then an idea popped up. How could I make Among Us random games even more infuriating than they actually are? Then I thought of this. So I gave myself a challenge in a game full of smooth brains. Smart decision, I know. The challenge I set for myself is simple. I had to complete this randomly generated bingo card. I cannot stop until I at least got one bingo. Each game equals one turn, but I can get more than one square on each turn. So good news is I got it. The bad news, yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. Game starts off kind of iffy, eh, but quiet. I managed to complete all the tasks in about two minutes. Kind of my fault for randomly joining a lobby with default rules, but whatever, I can fix that later. Just when I managed to complete everything, the first emergency meeting happened and surprisingly nobody died. But in true Among Us fashion, the first text that I was greeted by was... Seems like this random button press was either a bait or just someone checking up on us, so we continued onward. The first round wasn't that exciting after that. Just another emergency meeting and a completed task victory. Wait, wait, wait a damn minute. Wait, we got a victory where people actually did tasks. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Next round starts off quiet all on my end. I do my tasks, I get someone to strip for me in med bay, and then the body is found. Unlike last time, we actually have some early ghosts around. Chad immediately points towards Red since he was accused of killing like green, but the- uh, Oh, wait, I, I forgot this was YouTube. Let me just, uh... Alright, better. Anyways, it looks like Red was suspected to kill someone outside of labs and self-reporting. Honestly, was not expecting Red to actually be the imposter though, since I thought this was just a running meme. Let's see now. Uh, later on, the lights go out, emergency meeting was called, stupidly accused for skipping last round's vote, and voted out. Wow. Uh, can't really say much about it since my dumb self actually forgot about that vote myself, since... <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I have no excuse. Sorry, my guy. Round goes on, another body gets discovered, and Purple gets singled out since everyone else was either cleared or not suspicious. And someone also managed to disconnect before the game ended. Sigh. Uh, I feel like there's a Sasuke joke somewhere in all of this, but... Round starts off fairly normal, I do a couple tasks, I stalk some people, someone finds a dead body, and accusations get thrown around. Although an imposter did get caught by someone, but unfortunately we didn't get the opportunity to yeet them into the pits of hell since they decided to leave. Other than that, nothing too weird. Games continues, I go to O2 and figured out apparently there's like a weird frame where like 10,000 seconds appear on the screen before it deactivates. But then after that, I get killed by Cyan, and they somehow still manage to screw up and get booted off. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Straight into the fourth game is really just the same old cycle, except someone immediately called an emergency meeting since someone was AFK. Probably looking at Rule 34 Among Us, but let's not go too deep into that. I also managed to get locked out of the cafeteria sometime after the vote and get killed by Purple. The lobby actually figured out who the last imposter was, surprisingly enough. To be honest, we really just got extremely lucky with the vote, and I don't know how we managed to do that. Y you see this player standing right here before the round starts? Keep him in mind for the upcoming rounds later. Then round number five is really just a quick start. Right off the bat, Pink gets killed and the imposter just leaves. Again. Ugh, man, I just love people who do that, don't you? Uh, all right, now skipping a bit into the future and uh, uh, oh, I got killed at the old two filter. Hmm. Luckily, everyone completed their task later on, so we still won. So hey, win win. This time, everyone was actually well on the crewmate side. Everyone was actually doing well. This round really just involved a sad imposter who was caught red-handed murdering someone. Everyone agreed to vote her out. Orange assault someone gets voted out, and we win another round. But unfortunately, I was not prepared for the upcoming rounds. I, I really don't want to talk about this round too much. Not because I'm still salty or anything that we lost, but really because it was so obvious about who the imposters were. Just because they were just aggressive. 
But then again, I was stalking an e-girl for some points, so can, can you really blame me there? Remember that glizzy over there from a couple rounds back? Yeah, he was a pain. Almost every imposter round didn't have anyone too menacing until that thing came along. In the span of 8 minutes, Glizzy and company somehow managed to wipe the majority of the lobby, but then again they also managed to fool the lobby by using orange trigger happy accusations, but yeah, maybe that's why. Props to orange for finding both imposters that early on though, even if it did result in an early grave for all of us, but wait, how, how did I lose to a Glizzy? Wait, wait a minute. Alright, oh, round 9. Anyway, typical round, red is being sus. Is... Bro, how did I lose to a fat glizzy? I still can't get over that. How, how, how did I lose?